Hey there, friends. Welcome to the premiere of Home Base Highlights, a month-long dive into local living. In this series, we're bringing you along as we settle into some of our favorite spots around the world for an entire month. We're talking hidden gems, must-see sites, our top restaurant picks, and everything that makes each place the perfect home base for slow travelers like us. Today, we're kicking things off with a city that's near and dear to our hearts, Florence, Italy. This isn't just any city, it's like stepping into an open-air museum filled with art, history, and culture at every turn. If you're new here, we're two traveling after one, a couple of empty nesters on a mission to explore the world and share all the tips we pick up along the way. We spent an entire month in Florence, and we're here to tell you why this city is the perfect home base for slow travelers. From world-class art and rich history to incredible food, Florence had us completely captivated, and we can't wait to show you everything we did. First up, why Florence? Well, it's the perfect mix of vibrant culture and local charm. Picture this, waking up to the smell of fresh coffee, wandering through cobblestone streets lined with Renaissance masterpieces, and soaking in the relaxed rhythm of Florentine life. Whether it's your first time here or your 10th, Florence will capture your heart and your stomach. So grab your coffee, let's dive into what makes Florence such an incredible home base for a month of slow travel. Okay, you have to start with the Florence Cathedral. This Gothic masterpiece has dominated the city's skyline for centuries. We climbed to the top of the dome, and let me tell you, the views were absolutely worth it. Pro tip, book your tickets in advance because this spot fills up fast, and you do not want to miss this. Piazza della Signoria. This place is buzzing with history. You'll find incredible statues here, including a replica of Michelangelo's David. Oh, and the Loggia dei Lanzi, it's like an open-air museum with some of the coolest sculptures we've ever seen. Speaking of Michelangelo, you have to see the real David at, at the Academia Gallery. This statue is just breathtaking in person. Pictures don't really do it justice. Michelangelo's craftsmanship is on full display here, and we were absolutely blown away. Next up, Uffizi Gallery, one of the most famous museums in the world. Here we got to see close-up works by Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, and Caravaggio. It's like taking a stroll through history, art history, and it's an absolute must for any art lover. Now if you want a little modern flair, don't skip the Gucci Garden. This museum is dedicated to all things Gucci. Yep, fashion lovers, this one's for you. It's super creative space that blends fashion and art in a way that'll keep you coming back for more. History enthusiasts, we found the archive fashions to be captivating exploration of the fashion house. And of course, let's talk about food. Florence is known for its Tuscan cuisine, and we absolutely indulged. From the hearty sandwiches to those legendary Florentine steaks, every meal here was an experience in itself. Oh, and the gelato? Life-changing. We also spent a lot of time exploring the local markets and their fresh produce, artisan crafts, and even leather goods. From street markets to high-end boutiques, Florence has it all, and from taking the time to stroll all of these markets really gave us a glimpse of local life. When we needed a break from the city hustle, the Boboli Gardens was a go-to spot. These gorgeous gardens behind Pitti Palace are perfect for a quiet afternoon stroll. Plus, the views and the sculptures here are absolutely stunning.
One of the best things about using Florence as a home base is how easy it is to take day trips to some incredible nearby destinations. First up was Pisa. Just an hour by train, Pisa's famous for its iconic leaning tower. We spent the day exploring the piazza, home to the tower, the beautiful Pisa Cathedral, and the baptistery. It's a quick trip, but packed with stunning sights and plenty of photo opportunities. Another amazing day trip is to the charming town of Lucca. Known for its well-preserved Renaissance walls, Lucca is about an hour and a half from Florence by train. We loved walking along the city's massive walls, which offer panoramic views of the town and countryside. The historic center is full of narrow cobblestone streets, beautiful piazzas, and hidden gems like the Ginnigi Tower, where you can climb to the top for a fantastic view. It's a perfect destination for a laid-back day of exploration. Whether you're marveling at Pisa's famous tower or wandering the streets of Lucca, these day trips offer a fantastic way to explore more of Tuscany, all while returning to the comfort of your Florence home base. And finally, there's nothing quite like watching the sunset over Florence from San Miniato al Monte, one of the highest points in the city and most scenic churches in Italy. We spent many evenings sitting on the steps, reflecting on our month-long stay and realizing just how special Florence really is. It's more than just a tourist destination, it really was the perfect home base. So there you have it, our month in Florence was filled with art, history, amazing food, and unforgettable moments. We absolutely loved making this city our home base, and we hope this video gave you a little taste of what it's like to slow travel through Florence. Want all the details on where to eat, what to visit, and a curated Google map of Florence? Head over to our blog for the complete guide and to help you plan your own adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on more home base highlights. See you next time and happy travels!